Here is the tooth on top and the root at the bottom. You have the gum on each side and the bone holding everything. So now uh, when you have um, normal B microbiota, that would be in the green um, circle. So here you have normal microbiota, normal dental plaque that is forming. You have cocci. Little cocci, non motile cocci, you have non motile filaments, like we can see here, and you have sometimes a mix of uh, cocci and filament, which may make uh, calculus at the end. Now, when you have uh, gingivitis forming, it's a little different. In the yellow circle, you see it goes around the, close to the gum. So you have motile bacteria like spirochete and uh, vibrios and bacilli. And you have white cells, uh, which are in orange here. You have the white cell coming in to, um, to uh, worry about this um, inflammatory infection. Now, when you have periodontal disease, it goes uh, deeper. You find those uh, same uh, bacteria, motile bacteria. You find those white cells again uh, for the immune system. And then you have the amoeba coming in from uh, any area, so other people, uh, water, whatever. And then those amoeba are organizing and they eat this the nucleus of this white cell that should be defending you so here you see uh, many amoeba they form uh, with bacteria actinomyces formation and brush pattern and so they make like nests and when they are uh, well organized sometimes you have more you have trichomonas a second parasite that can come in so when you have all this the amoeba kills the neutrophil and then you have ghost cell of neutrophil going down the uh, apex of the root and then it break the filament and it break the fibers and it break the bone so you get deeper pocket so if you have a periodontal problem, first thing we see would be the red cell, which would uh, uh, correspond to this inflammation, and those white cells like uh, neutrophil here, macrophage, and monocyte. So those are the immune defense cells that you can see on the microscope. Now, when you have periodontitis, you have those amoeba, so antamoeba gingivalis. You have the first one, minuta, little baby, then they get bigger like uh, this junior one and then adult normal uh, antamoeba with the pseudopod. If you have uropod, uroid, uh, in the back of the amoeba, it, more, it is more pathogen. Now the amoeba is the nucleus of the white cell. Here you see how it goes. Just suction the inside the internal part of the nucleus. And then you have many uh, black area and the amoeba. Those are all the uh, nucleus of white cell that have been uh, eaten. And they organize with an um, actinomyces filament to form uh, nets and babies, and uh, they get those uh, um, those uh, white cell uh, on the bottom of the pocket. Now, sometimes you have the trichomonas, so it is worse aggressive when you have uh, a trichomonas in the same time. Looks like tenax or sometimes vaginalis could be present. We have to study this uh, thing. Now, when you have less disease like um, like a simply uh, gingivitis, you find the uh, uh, red uh, complex of Sukransky would be uh, spirochetes, would be bacteroidis here, would be the red complex of uh, Sukransky. Sometimes it is, uh, can be a little worse with the uh, orange complex, like those bacilli we can see, or yellow complex with uh, streptococci and streptobacilli that are not uh, moving. But those are no good, but they are more actually a uh, synonym of uh, gingivitis. Uh, now, when you come back to uh, health, you have to go to find a normal biofilm. So normal biofilm is constituted of uh, cocoid bacteria mainly and little filament. But don't have those cocoid with our, we'd have an uh, envelope um, 
uh, gram negative envelope so those are the bad ones so just nice little cockeye dots and line line for filament so small one lactobacilla or a longer line or fusiform are okay they are not moving or at least not moving much sometimes you find some cocobacilla usually those are a good uh, one as uh, except uh, some uh, if you have epithelial cell a lot of epithelial cell this is a good idea because it's uh there is less plaque uh, at that time uh, now if you have actinomyces and cocci together it will make uh, calculus this would be curinibacterium trucciotti and it's just calculus if you have form like uh, leptotrichia looks like spaghetti is just uh, you need to have more uh, brushing uh, to be done and floss to be done now, if we take a uh, biofilm of periodontal disease, here it is at 100x, 100 times low magnification, dark field. So you see we find some um, amoeba mostly uh, with uh, spirochetes here, uh, amoeba, dead amoeba, living amoeba with the pseudopod uh, going uh, up. And you clearly see the nucleus of the amoeba. So we go back to 100 magnification, low magnification, to see how many of those amoeba we can find, and then back 1,000 to confirm with diagnostic. So you see here, it makes like little uh, dark spots, which are amoeba, and you see the channels uh, just before the amoeba on every amoeba, because uh, they uh, just would um, have displacement for... Uh, five minutes so you see they form a empty channel uh, like snail would do so here again one amoeba we go to 1000 magnification confirm see the channel and see the spirochetes moving uh, mostly during this uh, infectious disease so amoeba is easy to see you clearly can see them at 100 or in complete uh, diagnostic at 1000 magnification with the little nucleus in the middle with the dark spot and the center, which is a four micron. See here are baby minuta on top and the adult one at the bottom. So uh, they do babies, they will um, make one or two or more and then they get the uh, adult uh, antemoeba. So it is clearly easy to see baby minuta and adult uh, antemoeba gingivalis forming. Here again, we can uh, make some displacement on the biofilm. Here we see a longer amoeba, Antamoeba gingivalis. It's just longer, but you see it has eaten a lot of uh, nucleus of many white cells. Maybe it ate the 15 or 20 um, white cells during the day or the last day. So it is a, some kind of a big uh, monster that you find in periodontal disease. So don't keep those uh, amoeba, don't keep those antamoeba eating your uh, white cells or your immune system is not uh, working uh, any good. See again, back to 100 to complete, to see how many there are and then confirm him with uh, 1000 uh, magnification uh, to confirm. So the presence of antemoeba in the prenatal disease is almost 100% of the time, so it makes 100% uh, correlation. Now sometimes 20-22% of uh, prenatal case we find the trichomonas. So this is a very big trichomonas, the first one we see that big, uh, looks like the queen, and you'll see uh, this little trichomonas coming on the right side. So it has four flagella, it looks uh, very big, maybe it's going to separate and make two uh, trichomonas, we don't know, but it's fairly big, with, and we see the nucleus, we can see how it would deform, and you see the bacteroides and spirochete, uh, you know, bacilla, uh, not bacilla, but vibrio that is moving around, some red cell because of blood, and um, this is uh, like a big one. So. Normal common cell biofilm, this is what we want to, to do. So curing the patient, doing disinfection, removing calculus, making sure all those bugs are gone, 
removing the pathogen bacteria, pathogen parasite. Then we come back to this uh, normal way of him. So you see epithelial cells, which are not moving, mostly dots and lines, which are cocci and little filament. So this is when the patient is cured. So we are absolutely sure when we are finished treatment, uh, Bonner method, we can make sure we have this uh, normal biofilm again. Sometimes you have one little more tile bacteria in all the biofilm, but uh, not uh, many. Lower than 1% be okay. So dots and line, dots and line, dots and line, and epithelial cell that would be uh, perfect and make sure patient is well uh, cured. Now, uh, if uh, you have uh, been cured from the disease, you see the amoeba on the left, uh, with the red cell and the white cell and the bad uh, pathogen bacteria are gone. So amoeba is clearly easy to see. Anybody can understand this. It's really uh, simple to see. Red cell, those are red cell. And you remove all this and you find you can cure patients and then you have only cocci, uh, little bacteria that are moving, no parasite, no red cell, no white blood cell, and then you can be sure patient can be cured. Now you can see the disease before and after, so you'll see the bone within one uh, one year or a little less, probably the bone that is destroyed here on this uh, central tooth, you'll see it will just reform, removing the bad bugs, removing parasites, removing all inflammation, the bone will regrow by itself. So uh, there's no need to put anything else, just cure, just remove, and it will. Uh, the bone will reform in those vertical uh, defects.